Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, Lovely Patrice. What's up, gang gang? Good morning. I'm going to take you guys along with me as I go to work this morning, travel to work. Um, I am, again, um, a dental uh, administrative assistant at a dental office. I work Monday through Thursday, 8 to 5. It's now 7.15, so I'm going to stop to my favorite place, Starbucks. I don't know how many of you all like Starbucks, but that's my new spot. Um, I was uh, into Dunkin' Donuts, but I tried um, Starbucks a few weeks ago, me and my husband, and I am forever sold on Starbucks. Like, Starbucks is my new thing now. I go get my coffee, and I love their cheese Danish. I don't know if you all try their cheese danish but you guys gotta try it oh man it is awesome um so i want to get on here this morning um and just chat with you all on this morning when you start your day when you get up um just begin to say you know a prayer it don't have to be a long prayer um just thanking god just um you know thanking him for everything that he's done for you and your family your friends just everything every part of your life just thanking god um because he is the creator um of life and he blesses us he does things for us that we don't even you know our minds can't even wrap around all the things that god has done for us we're truly blessed you know no matter the situation we're still blessed because you know looking over our life we see how far god has brought us you know uh the things he brought us through the things he have taken us to you know and just being an overcomer and um I just, you know, want to share with y'all how good God is, you know, just begin to, you know, pray every morning when you get up. Um, I got this book right here. You guys can find it off of, uh, I ordered it off of Amazon. It's, it's pretty beat up now. Oh, I got it upside down. Sorry. It's pretty beat up now. Um, it was like $6. The lady at my church, um, actually bought it for me years ago. It's called, um, excuse me, I got it upside down. Jesus Calling um, by Sarah Young. It's like $6 or $4. You can get it off Amazon. It's a great devotional book um, of every day of the year for a whole year, 365 days out of year. It's devotion and prayers and scriptures um, pertaining to the devotion for the morning. And I just want you guys to get more into praying and seeking God for your life. You know, we're, we're in a season now, a time now of 2021 COVID, um, uh, it's just praying time. It's, it's always been praying time, but it's more than ever. Just thanking God and just trusting God in this process. Some people have lost hope. On this morning, I come to bring you hope on this morning. Don't never give up. God is awesome. He's amazing. You just have to have faith. He said, have a faith as the size of a mustard seed. So if you just, you know, just pull some strength and just trust God. You know, when, when your back is against the wall and you say, you know what, God, I have nothing left. I have nothing. I've been there. I've been there a couple times. I have nothing to give. I have nothing to offer. I'm just at my rock bottom, Lord. You know, being at your rock bottom, it's a blessing sometimes to be at your rock bottom because it's in at your rock bottom stages where you find the hand of God move in your life like, ne like never before. You see God in a different way like never before. When you have nothing so you can't lose nothing, you know, sometimes we think that's the worst. You know, we, we're so bummed, bummed out, you know. We just don't have anything to give no one to ourselves. But you know what? It's in that time when God show manifests itself more than ever. Like I said, I've been there a few times losing my sister in 2006. You know, her husband killed her and her unborn child. You know, I that put me at a rock bottom state. Like I wanted to commit suicide. I, if I didn't have my daughter, I probably would have tried it, attempted, and I always been raised in a church, always been spiritual, you know, I'm a child of God, always been, but going through some things, it can knock the very life out of you, it can make you feel like you have nothing else to live for, but on this morning, I come to share with the lovely gang, lovely Patrice gang, that just trust God. Just leave it all to God. That's his job to take care of you. You know, leave it to God to bring you out of the bad situations. You know, some women, some people are in abusive relationships. I've been in one, you know, with my daughter father before, you know, it was more of verbal abuse. Um, but 
you know, thanks be unto God that God delivered me out of that. You know, just know your worth, know what you're able to handle and, you know, just pull yourself out of some situations. You know, you don't have to take abuse from no one, man or woman, you know, you, you deserve better, you deserve more. And so when I made up in my mind that, you know what, I don't even mind being by myself. I don't even care at this point just to have peace, a peace of mind. And just, I trust God through the process. You know, I had to start um, just my life over again. Like, oh my God, like I'm a, you know, a single parent, like he's not going to help me with with this child you know so i end up working dead end jobs you know but one thing about it that god never 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 gave up on me and that is amazing when you can just share your story and just see you know tell people how good god has been and you just look back over your life and just see you know the hand of god moving in your life you may not have everything you want at this time but you got everything you need you got food on the table you got shelter roof over your head you got clothes on your back you got a vehicle to take you to point a to point b some people don't have that so just blessing and and, and, and god for at the point where you are just being content with what you have you know just you know there is a brighter day there's a light at the end of the tunnel so just you know trust god through the process and you know just all all walks of life you're going to need god when you're small, when you're big, when you're doing bad, when you're doing good, you always gonna need God. You guys, hold on, let me order my Starbucks. I'm at Starbucks now, headed to work. Good morning. Good morning, thank you for choosing Starbucks. How can we get started for you now? Yes, can I get a grande French vanilla hot coffee and a um, cheese Danish warmed up and that'll be all. What size is your coffee? A grande. And did you want cream in there? Yes, that's fine. Alrighty, six ten. We'll see at the window. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> so, thank y'all for holding too. Um, like I said, I'm at Starbucks. Got to get my coffee. Head to work. Got. <laughs> I'm not good without my coffee, y'all. And it's funny. The, the the funniest story, not to get off subject, but growing up, my grandmother, my mother's mother, uh, she lived in South Carolina. She's now passed. Um. And uh, she raised us up on drinking coffee with her when we got up in the morning. So I began to drink coffee at a young age, and I so love it. Some people are like, I can't do it. I can't. Oh, it's a nasty taste. Well, I grew up on it. It was just a, a, a grand, grandma, grandchildren thing. We love, we look forward to waking up in the mornings drinking coffee with my grandmother you know and so now like i said i'm 41 so i love it y'all i love my coffee and i try to skip days because i know too much of it you know is not good for me and my doctor you know already told me like hey you need to you know scale back a little bit um because too much caffeine is not good for women um the breast health and all that stuff so i try to cut back on my caffeine um i'm no longer drinking sodas which is a plus y'all hold on one second good morning Hello. how are you Hello, okay Can you see yes ma'am okay and your all right have a wonderful day you thank too. you bye bye all right y'all i got her i got her ready to ready to enjoy my coffee now headed to work but yeah so i love coffee y'all i'm talking about i me and my husband we try to scale back and it's so hard y'all when you got a love for it like you live for it like in your day <laughs> like my day i'm like oh my god i start my morning but oh my goodness when i get to work i just want something warm to sip on like i drink teas to a lot of herbal teas so my it it just doesn't the herbal tea is okay, but I want more. Like, oh my God, I need more. <laughs> I want coffee. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to try to do better, y'all. 2021, I said I'm going to do better. I'm, you know, we scaling back, eating meats, um, trying to cut meat out of our diet, um, just trying to eat more healthier, um, take care of our bodies, which is the temple of the Lord. Just trying to, you know, be more aware of, what we put in our body y'all and i'm not saying it's an easy journey <laughs> it's not easy 
but when you, when you have a made up mind you can do anything anything you can you you can do you know nothing nothing is impossible you know so you just got to put your mind to and do it and and you know focusing on you know the things that is right for you you know be yourself don't do it because of other people but do it for yourself that self-love is man that thing is so powerful self-love just you know loving yourself wanting better for yourself and to throw this out there um like i said i always been a i've been a single parent for a long long time before i got married so i work dead in jobs but one thing my mother always taught us she raised five children by herself when my dad um died when i was younger so she taught us work ethic um you know just doing what you're supposed to do and just to you know share with someone work ethic is very important i don't care if you work at mcdonald's burger king you know whatever job you're working at don't look down at the job that you have because it's all for a purpose it's to build you it's for your growth and it's to sustain you for for what you need you know right now right you know then and so she instilled in us at a young age worth ethic and I got my first job at the age, I believe, 17 um, in high school, trying to help my mother. Like I said, she was a single parent taking care of all, all the children. And so we needed transportation. We did not have a car. We caught rides um, everywhere we had to go or we, you know, took a taxi, you know. And I always desire us to have a car because I just got tired of walking everywhere. Like if I had to go to my friend's house, I had to walk. If I had um, uh, track practice after school, once practice was over, I had to walk and it was kind of embarrassing you know and i was like you know what let me help my mom out so i got a job and we got a car and i helped make the payments and car insurance so right then and there it taught me the value of a dollar and how to work hard for what you want so what i'm sharing with y'all work ethic is everything it don't matter your title on the job it don't even matter the job but be the best you let your work show and speak volumes for your name so i always like i said i always been a a hard worker whatever job i worked at i worked at convenience stores i was in management i worked at walmart for at least 14 years and then i decided i said you know what walmart is for me it was like a dead end like no growth i i you know i did all that i could do there i you know exceeded their expectations um of me but they offered management of, of several times but i did not want that because i could not see a healthy growth working environment at at that uh at that job and so i um enrolled in this program it was a couple weeks for dental assistance and i said you know what lord i want to go back to school i tried school for nursing um and when my sister got killed i tried to go back in my mind y'all i could not focus like i was making straight a's and b's in college but when i went back i could not focus or study for a test so i said you know what i just need to refocus just just get myself together and so i just needed a break and so i signed myself into school a couple weeks it was like 14 weeks for a dental assistant program um here in savannah georgia which was not bad it was a you know like three thousand i want to say but they let you make payments so i was like you know what this is something quick that i can do and i wanted to switch my career so i said well let me just go on the dental side you know because that's where my heart was pulling at at the time so i uh proceeded in the program did excellent um my grade average was really really great so i i finished that applied to some jobs got my first job i worked there for a few months in the dental field i said hey i don't know if this is for me because the first job that i got their training was not the best and their the office manager made it so horrible for me like i literally would get in my car drive home and cry like god and pray like god this it, it's not it it's not what you know in the interview you know when they ask you questions and i ask them questions are y'all willing to train you know new people right out of school and they said yes but the type of treatment i got when i started the job it 
it went against what they said that they would do. So I end up, you know, talking with the doctors, share my, you know, uh, concerns and, you know, experiences there. And I, I, I put in my notice, I applied to more jobs. And then the second job I got was working at an oral surgery uh, office. And there I did administrative work. So I did office work, sitting down at the desk, you know, um, helping patients with their insurance and scheduling their surgeries and stuff like this for dental um dental work so i loved it i found my passion like i loved it but end up having to fast forward leave that job because of office manager um was horrible and so now i'm at my new job and i love it y'all i really love it i love the interaction with my co-workers it's just a, a pleasant place to work and then with the patients it's amazing y'all so i found my passion you know but i also know that it's only for a certain time like god has for me like it's more so build your make sure your work ethic is in place you know do right you know and let your name and your work speak for you you don't have to say nothing but if if you ever leave a job someone should come behind you the new person and it should be like smooth like nothing undone by you you leave your work making your old bosses and your old job say you know what man that person was the best worker I ever had. Man, why did we have to lose them? Uh, build your work ethic. Show up. Every day you show up. Even I go to work, y'all, not feeling good. Sometimes, I, you know, it's just, you know, women, we go through things. I don't feel good. I, I suffer from migraines, you know, and I throw up and stuff like that with my migraines. So I and my sinuses are horrible. Living in Georgia, I, I never had sinus problems before until a couple of years ago. Last year, I want to say, I probably had about six or seven bad sinus infections. So I do have to schedule my sinus surgery, but due to COVID, I'm going to postpone that. But I go to work, y'all, feeling toe up from the flow up, but I press my way, you know, or whatever. So I'm telling you all, press y'all way. You know, don't let you know other people discourage you to do your best at the job always when you clock in that's when it supposed to start you earn your paycheck don't be one of these people that go to the job and don't earn a paycheck i've worked with several people that i feel like they got free checks like i'm like hold on i'm doing their work and i'm doing my work too i need i should be getting a paycheck don't ever go to a job and not earn your pay go with the intentions of i'm gonna i'm gonna do my very best every day i'm gonna give a hundred percent because first of all you don't know who's watching you you don't know who's gonna be your next boss always handle yourself in a professional manner i don't care what job you work at always be professional you don't know who you're encountering every day you don't know who's going to be the one that help put you on the map or help you get ahead of the game you don't know who is coming into your your job in your presence like you don't know you don't know what people hold, you know, what what person holds what title. You don't know if the CEO going to come in undisguised, like in disguise. You don't know. So always hold yourself to a higher standard. Make sure integrity is at, in place. Your character should be well spoken of. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure all of you is intact. So when you leave that place, when when God shift to shift you to higher and greater, because what He does is first you have to establish the foundation, and with your job ethic and integrity and character in place, it's help setting you up for a life a lifetime. Like this will forever be in you like even when you leave that job and god may say hey okay now it's time for you to start your own business well now if i'm gonna start my own business guess what my integrity gonna be in place my work ethic is awesome and my character is awesome so my business is gonna thrive you know what i'm saying it's gonna thrive like show yourself to make it happen make it happen y'all don't let negative people get in your ear this year stay focused 
stay on the grind. You know, uh, when if you God say, you know, cut a person off, you know, that's not your friend or that's not your homegirl, your homeboy. You know, I'm showing y'all what they really are. Believe God, like cut people off if they're not going to benefit you for the better. Like I always, you know, just reflecting on my life. I'm a kind person. I'm a giving person, y'all. I give my last to people. I remember when me and my daughter was staying in an apartment, I took in several people, y'all, to help them out. They didn't have nowhere to stay. These are people that I knew, though. And they stole from me. Like, every last one except one stole from me while living with me. While living with me and my daughter. No one, when they left, y'all... That's when I discovered um, that they were stealing from me. And when they left, no, no one even said, thank you. Thank you for opening your door for me. You know what I'm saying? To have a place to stay, food on the table. Like I didn't even, they didn't even give me anything, no money. They didn't buy no food. Like I said, I'm a single parent struggling, y'all. I took people in, but I always been a giver in my heart, you know, and I praise many times like God take my heart, this heart away from me. Like I don't want it anymore because I'm always getting hurt. I'm always getting abused. People always still and people are always taken from me. Like you're giving so much of you, like I'm I'm a giver. So they deplete me emotionally, strength. Like, I encourage so many people, like, get you someone that if they take, they put back in. Like, they deposit something in you. I always had takers. No one ever was there for me, you know, and deposit in my life. Get Find y'all people that's going to deposit in your life in this, in this year, in this season. Don't hang around takers all the time. Even, you know, I'm just looking back. I'm like, hold on now. I remember I used to be like down to one pack of meat in my freezer and no one knew because I didn't tell nobody. I just prayed about it. I trusted God for me and my daughter to make a way out of no way, but they were all takers. Like no one gave, like they will still call me and ask. Even when I didn't have nothing to give, I would still give out of my own need. You know what I'm saying? So Y'all get y'all get y'all some people that's gonna ride with y'all, that's gonna be there for y'all and not gonna use y'all. And I I told God, I said, God, I'm done with the users. I'm done with just takers, Lord. Like they hands always out, they never given. You know, I'm 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 done with them. So my my circle of friends, y'all, is very slim to none. Get you some rider dies, get you some people that's gonna encourage you, that's gonna push you to your limit, get you someone that's gonna that want the best for you that really just don't say it but in action this year is action like i cut off so many people y'all that i thought was for me and was not for me like people that I, you know people i grew up with you know what i'm saying i had to let go and one of my best friends um we we grew up we 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 knew each other since middle school y'all I had to let her go a few years ago because I'm like, you know what? I didn't do anything wrong. Like, why why are you coming at me sideways when all I did, y'all, was do a Facebook shout out of a picture that showed up on my timeline of her. So she was one that always, well, she didn't like her weight. But on the picture when we took it, she said, oh, this is the most beautiful picture I ever you know took i love this picture so when it showed up on my timeline i was like oh happy birthday and i tagged it um tagged her on it and i used that picture to shot her out for her birthday so she texts me i need you to delete that picture off facebook right now i hate that picture and you can go on my page and find another picture i said no i'm not gonna do all that i said it was out the kindness of my heart it i thought it was nice I didn't see no, no harm in it, but I'm sorry if I offended you. I said, I'll take the picture down. You don't never have to worry about me doing anything else for you. You know what I'm saying? And I thought it was very petty, but I didn't I didn't call her no more. But one thing I realized, I had to realize, y'all, she never picked up the phone one time and tried to reach out to me. Never, ever. Now, I've been there, I mean, bent over backwards. I, like I said, going, giving out of my need, being there, making sure my time was available for her and her family whenever she needed. You know, it's just, oh my God, I could not believe the outcome. But she never picked up her phone, y'all, to call me. So I said, you know what? I've been riding with this, this young lady for so long. And this is how this is how our friendship gonna end well i said well i guess so 
I said, I guess so. So I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to keep it moving. And that's what I did. I just kept it moving, have not talked to her, love her family, me and her mother, conversate, you know, her mother calls me, her other daughter, and I have no hard feelings. It's just you, when you, when you fed up and you know your word, it, sometimes you just got to move on, you know, dust your hands off, move on y'all. But I am so excited for 2021 y'all. Like I said, this is the lovely gang, you know, y'all, my family, you know, and I'm getting with this YouTube stuff. Y'all just pray for me. Encourage me. Leave some comments down below. I'm going to be doing some natural hair, um, videos as well. Um, not into a lot of makeup. Um, I go more natural. I wear foundation every now and again. Like if I go to church or something and it's a big event. But I try to just keep it basic, y'all. So I, I don't know about the, the makeup part. I'm, I'm, I'm slowly getting into makeup. But I'm not a professional. And I don't wear it every day. Like around my house, y'all, I'm just a, a, a sweats and a t-shirt type of girl. I love tennis shoes not too big on heels i do have some heels but man them things hurt like oh my god my husband said how y'all women walking them heels so y'all i'm just an average normal regular young lady you know from georgia i am a georgia peach you know and i'm just trying to rock out for 2021 you know i'm trying to see um what doors that god have for me to to go in you know because it's some doors that's open for us we just got to go through them so i'm just connecting to some people you know just trying to make it happen in 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 this season of my life i've, I've been down the hard i, I you know I, I i had a hard life you know been down some hard roads but i overcame them you know and now it's time i'm just trying to live y'all a good life i'm just trying to be happy in my life just trying to enjoy my family my friends you know and i am just focused in this year like I've been down for so long. I'm like, okay, it's time. It's time for me to, you know, regroup, refocus, get my get my mind together, get my life together. Like I am over the craziness. I'm over drama. Never been a drama type. You know, just I just want peace, joy, happiness. And I know all that comes from the Lord, y'all. So I am trusting God in this year trusting God with my life my family's life you know I'm praying for people you know all over the world nations let's just pray for someone how about this every morning you get up do it with me let's pray for someone else other than ourselves let's pray for someone else because we don't know the story of someone else's life we don't know what someone else is going through and how about this let's our let's let's do something on today how about this how about let's take one person a day and encourage a person with words how about that words y'all just don't know uh encouraging word when someone need it it goes a long way it's like winning the lottery y'all i mean it goes a long way so let's encourage someone on today with a nice word just encouraging word and let's start impacting people's lives with encouragement. You know what I'm saying? With love. Let's bring back the love of God. Like, let's bring back love for people. It does not matter the race. It does not matter, you know what I'm saying, the sex. Let's encourage someone. Because, to be honest, I'm, I, I'm mixed. Like, I mean, like, I have my, okay, so, I have black in me. My great-grandfather he, he was white. So I have a mixture. So I don't, I love everybody. I like everybody. So I don't, I'm not racist, you know, and I love people, truly genuine love people. My husband get on me all the time. He said, Patrice, you can talk to anyone. You can hold a conversation with anyone. I said, I don't know it's just I love people man like even at my job starting this new job y'all at first I was kind of nervous because I'm like I didn't know their system or anything so I had to learn a lot still learning a lot but I said you know what but what comes natural to me is is customer service y'all I just love people 
I love talking. I'll hold a conversation with a stranger in a supermarket, grocery shopping. Like, it's always been me that, like, it's, I love talking to people. Like, I love people. I love encouraging people. So that's what's in me. Like, that's in my DNA. That's how God designed me. God designed each one you know differently so just accept how god created you and let's rock out you know in this season let's rock out for 2021 y'all comment down below send me some hearts y'all send me some hearts you know what i'm saying and let's subscribe to my channel like i said i'm just getting started i'm a newbie but i i have subscribed to a lot of youtubers i follow them i support them so let's come on my channel the lovely patrice daniels channel and let's share the love you know don't don't knock somebody at their beginning like at their beginning stages like i said i'm not perfect i'm new to making videos still learning a lot learning how to edit learn you know and i'm using my cell phone like i can't even right now i don't have the funds to buy a camera my desire is to have a camera y'all to vlog but i don't have one and i can't you know what i'm saying make one just appear so i'm working with what i have right now so y'all don't knock people at their start beginning like their 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 beginning let's encourage them you know what i'm saying like i said i'm not perfect by no means so y'all encourage me show me some love come on my channel y'all let's rock out with the lovely patrice gang y'all how about that 2021 let's get it y'all y'all be blessed on today encourage someone on today and i'll talk to y'all later bye